Good morning, folks. Very calm star. Let's watch it. We see no Earth-directed eruptions, no coronal holes, just a few bright active regions and some plasma filaments coming over the limb. Had a few revamps over at spaceweathernews.com. We can see the GOES X-ray flux showing no flaring. The sunspots are spread out, not very numerous, and definitely not offering any magnetic complexity. Solar wind is calming down now from the coronal hole stream impact. Magnetic disruptions are fading out as well. All in all, a very calm day at both Earth and the Sun. But the planets do begin lining up soon, so maybe the Sun still has some juice left before she goes to sleep. And by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, the Sun is going to sleep details the heliophysics breakthrough of the decade. Confirmation that a grand minimum is at hand. It can be found on YouTube, suspiciousobservers.org, and at spaceweathernews.com. Can't miss it. It's that important. Top article of the day is about Pluto. What would make these guys look like that? Strange formations, including polygon shapes with apparently straight edges, that have been discovered by New Horizons. It is tough to tell just how unusual or straight or polygonal those features are, but... We've got a close approach to Pluto in two days, so the images should be stunning. And speaking of Pluto, turns out that plutonium is magnetic. Theory suggested it, but the magnetism itself remained elusive until now. Its valence electrons act like a plasma cloud. Yesterday, we saw a split in ocean temperatures with both hot and cold. Today, we see the same thing once again on land with only heat mentioned in the headline once again. Despite the fact that cold records are dropping on nearly every continent, this article is indeed only mentioning the heat records and we'd expect nothing less from our government. On that note, major cold waves striking Australia, smashing even more cold records, and here's why. Pressure lets Antarctica find an open door and is pouring a chill up to meet them there. Let's peek in on the ice to find the north, the Arctic, content to remain closer to normal than a scary melt situation. That can't last forever. Meanwhile, the Antarctic is about to end the longest streak without a high ice record broken since 2012. Record high ice down south is only a day or two away. We've got tropical systems resisting the will to fade away while others are born to the east. We'll check them out and go round the world to our top viewer locations. No cut current conditions so you can see how it's done and of course shots of our star to close. It's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.